Hey everyone, Steve Jackson from Imprintables Warehouse here and came up across an interesting issue uh, that a customer of ours had concerning the contours in Corel Draw and it not applying to a point on a design like this one here properly. So if I take this design here and I use the contour tool and hit apply, you'll see that it squares it out right there rather than getting that nice point that you see inside there. Um, the issue occurs from the points that are within it. So I've gone to my my shape tool there by double clicking on it and you can see the point that resides right there it's kind of squared and it wants to go out from that. Um, so the thought process might be well maybe I can change the object properties on this and uh, maybe round this out see if that'll change it. It does nothing there. The corners nothing on any of these are going to change anything in there. What you really have to do is go in and change that point right there so it's not a node at the end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a node here and I'll add a node right here and both of these nodes I want to right click on them and change it to a cusp because I don't want it to affect down this way from it I'm just going to affect this portion here. So I'll right click on this one again and change it to a cusp and then I'm going to simply delete this point here and you can see already it's, it's drastically changing how that node goes right there. So I don't want this bump out because of the curve around right here, so I'll right click on this line. Let me actually zoom in a little bit so you can see it. I'll right click on that line and I'm going to make it two line. I'll uh, straighten these out just a hair because I don't like the way that looks. Maybe make it a little bit more parallel there. I went too far. There we go. And I'm going to add a point in the center of it. Now that point in the center of it, when I draw this out, you'll see that it mimics it over here and makes the point that we want. So it's because of the way the curves came up into that point and we'll even, let's go back and experiment real quick. I didn't try this before. Let's see if just changing these guys to a cusp will change that. Um, and that one won't let me go to a cusp. So maybe I'll add a, a point here, add a point here, change both of these to a cusp and we'll see if that changes it at all. It doesn't. And even if I remove that, that there went to the roundabout, which I don't want. So I'm going to have to um, change this to a line. And that's curved, so I want to right click again on there. Let's get on it. I'm having a tough time getting right to it. We'll change that to a line, and then I can add a point and bring that out. And now it'll go to that point again. So an interesting issue in a graphic and you can see how they they wanted it to come out to a point on this to, to mimic the rest of it using the contour tool and it just didn't want to play along for them so it has to do in how the nodes are situated in there and you can kind of fool the contour tool into doing what we want I'll zoom in again on this area and I just added a node a node turn that to a line and then drew it out and you can see while well, I'm in the interactive contour tool still and that contour is attached you can watch it as it changes with it so Real quick, quick trip, uh, real quick trick to help you out, and hopefully it has, and hopefully we'll see you at the next video. Thanks for stopping by.